This is Brett Waltzmath of The Headliner and Starwatch Media, here with Phil Rosenthal of the premiere of his film, Exporting Raymond. Oh, oh, no, no, Scott please. Bacula. Oh, please, I know. Just got a Peabody Scott. Award. Congratulations. Oh, oh, Ray's <laughs> driving around. He can't believe parking's four pockets. No, 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 no. I, I, there, no there's no valet. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You know how tight he is. You've worked with him long enough. Right? Wouldn't be five bucks to see the Statue of Liberty do the dance. Not five. That's five. That's the first dollar, Scotty. Has he ever picked up lunch? I mean, how many times? How many? We don't have lunch. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You guys, you were at for nine years. You got to go to lunch. He's new. He's now. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, go so, ahead. When, when Phil first uh, mentioned this project to you, what was your first reaction to it when you first heard it? My first reaction is Phil's out of money. <laughs> he went through the $200 million and he needs a job. That's what I thought. Of. I'm going to take a run at that. Like, I can't wait to... to I chose Russia of all places. Well, Russia. Well, you know, that way, because we don't get reviews from Russia. I think that's why he went there. No, listen, you know, he's a brilliant writer and it's just hysterical. And, you know, he probably had the documentary in his mind the whole time because that's Phil. And, um, you know, I hear, because Russia is a very different world, I hear that my character is being played by a woman. So I'm excited to see that. Right. Excited to see that. I'm happy for him. You, you had such an incredible success at a young age as a stand-up comedian. Then you wanted to make the transition yeah. over to television acting. Was that a difficult transition for you to make? And what led um, to, the, to the desire to want to do that? Well, you, you know, stand-ups are, are, are actors in their own right, and many of them really become good actors when you think of, you know, Robin Williams or uh, Moms Mabley. Um, but, you know, stand-up is a monologue, and, you know, you create your own world for many years while you're doing stand-up, but I always wanted to act, and I think, to be honest, in this industry, uh, you almost have to make that transition either in film or TV because there's nothing sadder than a 51 year old guy doing comedy which I'll be doing next week at my own club at the Tropicana in Las Vegas. I love him. Phil looks amazing. Doesn't he? He, he got some sun. He got some sun. Uh, uh, other upcoming projects for you? Well, I just worked on the David Chase film. It's his directorial debut. It's untitled. Uh, he, I'm not allowed to talk about it, but I am totally naked. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep, there is that scoop right there. There's a. Re I need my Glad Award. Will you let me do my thing? So I'm doing that, and I'm doing a show on TLC called I Kid. It's a kid show that I host because I like the shorties. Good thing about it, we can cast anyone because everyone looks like a child next to me, except this giant Indian fellow right over here. Don't know what his story is. No, no, of course not. Thank you so much, and enjoy the film. Thank you so much.